Hey everyone, I'm here at WOW and this is the Homecast Rewind, bringing you what's new. This is a special report. Konami has once again expanded its retro collection with a series of detailed Castlevania t-shirts and an animated Frogger tee, part of a Frogger anniversary collection that includes a full costume and a companion. 8-bit gaming fans will also want to grab the Eat Seat from Vimy, which is the perfect sofa for a classic gaming theme. Also from Konami are the Bushido, Jet Tumble, and Under Armour sets, which offer you the ability to customize their appearance by simply changing your hair color. These armor sets can be mixed and matched to create your own colorful clan of armored warriors. If you've been looking for a social game at home, then you'll want to pay a visit to Ublog's Alien Casino, where you can play Ublog, a futuristic version of the casino classic Craps. You'll get 10,000 credits to start with, and if you bust out or lose, you'll get 2,000 free credits after 8 p.m. Eastern the next day. Ublog, like Craps, is a game based around probability, so it takes luck rather than strategy to win. When you first approach a table, you'll see a please wait message. Just sit tight and you'll be part of the game when the next round begins. The game is played in two parts. When a round begins, you can bet on win or lose. If a 7 or 11 comes up, the bet is a win and the next round begins. If a 2, 3 or 12 comes up, the bet is a lose. If any other number comes up, it's a point and the roller must then match that point before rolling a 7. At this point in the game, you can bet on the number that will come up or the exact dice combination that will appear, such as a 5 and a 2. Bets labeled in white on the board, including 2, 12, and any pair, are one-time bets that will win or lose after each roll. All other bets, labeled in blue, stay in place until the end of the round. You'll have the opportunity to place a bet after each roll of the dice when a player is going for a point, but you don't have to do this. If you're looking for a safe strategy to preserve your credits, bet win or lose consistently in the first round. If a point comes up, you can then bet the opposite. For example, if you've bet on lose and someone rolls a 6, you can then bet on the 6 and you'll win either way. The bets will cancel each other out and you won't lose any credits. Manage to earn 25,000 credits and you'll be rewarded with an alien avatar and an invitation to play at the center table where the alien pit boss can keep an eye on you. Finally this week, Lockwood has developed a new personal space that is the largest ever in home, the Silicon Lounge. As your own private retreat from the Sodium Hub, the Silicon Lounge includes a massive dance floor that plays musical notes as you walk on it, teleporters to the Sodium Spaces, a commerce point, and a built-in Lockwood gift machine. Surprising details can be found everywhere, from the color-changing puzzle pieces to the fish in the nearby river. There's even a hidden cave for quiet retreats with friends. 
Because of its massive size, getting around this space can take some time, and you'll find decorating a challenge with home's item limits, although there are built-in seating areas to make things easier. If you can live with the openness, you'll find the details and atmosphere to be one of a kind, making this a perfect place to have a party with your friends. That's all for now. Remember to catch up on the latest home news at the PlayStation blog and the forums at us.playstation.com slash home dash forums. You can follow me at twitter.com slash here at wow and get complete PlayStation coverage at gamerindepth.net. Until next time, this is here at wow. See you in PlayStation Home. <laughs>